Hello lovelies, we have one week until the exams start. It is properly starting to get real now, so whether it's kind of like RS is your first exam or the Bargy Paper 1 is your first exam on the Tuesday, um, here are some tips as to what to do with your last week for revision. Now, I know some of you might be on study leave, some of you might be at home, some of you might be kind of like in this halfway house where you have to go to school for some stuff, but you don't have to go to school for other stuff. Um, so what I want you to do is actually just to stop being really, really strict with yourself. Um, I know this isn't going to be fun. This time of year is never fun. I'm sorry. You Just for this little bit of the year, I'm not talking about the summer, something you can do whatever you want. Um, just for this little bit of the year, start to be really, really strict with yourself. So if you are going to do half an hour of maths revision, then put your phone away or use it like um, an app that will lock it or use it as a time for something and please don't get distracted by it. Don't sit down and think, I'm going to do half an hour of math revision, go and use your phone as a calculator and then get distracted by a TikTok notification that pops up. This is just not clever. You have all summer to deal with whatever drama has come up with. If you leave your phone downstairs, a drama explodes on social media and you've missed it, there will be another one coming up soon, I know. I, I know this isn't what you want me to tell you, but I, I can tell you everything's gonna be okay if you spend hours scrolling social media, but that that that's not the reality of it. So I'm gonna be real with you, I'm gonna tell you the truth, that you actually do need to focus and do some revision. The best thing you can be doing with your time at the moment is by doing papers, as many papers as you can. Now, I've had lots of people message me saying, can I use LXL papers, can I use AQA papers if I'm doing the other exam board? Please do not do this. This is an incredibly bad idea because um, things are going to be in different orders on different papers, like the heart, which paper is it actually going to come up on, depending on which exam board that you're doing. Um, also, there's going to be some stuff that comes up on separate, um, which comes up on combined in the other one, and it's going to be really confusing. Um, I find that if you're an AQA student that's an Excel paper or vice versa, all it does is cause confusion, all it does is cause stress, is an incredibly bad idea. I strongly suggest that you do not do it. I also strongly suggest that you don't do old spec papers for exactly the same reason, that some stuff you might come across on there has fallen off the spec, you don't need to know it, but if you see a question on it, you're just going to get really confused, upset, stressed, um, and the actual time taken to work out whether you do need to know this, whether you don't need to know this, is time you could actually spend being doing better things. So if you have done all of the papers that you can get your hands on, I can do them again. Um, I know this is like not the most interesting thing and what you want me to come up with is like this amazing way to, to make revision really interesting. I'm afraid at this point it's just going through and doing papers. Um, you know, do the paper that you got 50% on the first time you did it, can you now get 60% or 70% on that paper? Um, go through and find where the same question comes up over and over again, so the same form marker comes up repeatedly, repeatedly. Go and look at the mark schemes, like, are the mark schemes the same every single year? If they are, brilliant, get that on a flashcard and just learn that mark schemes, or, you know, did it come up as a three marker one year and a six marker another year? So what extra things do you need to add in to, to learning? That particular part of the mark scheme so that when it, if it comes up in the exam then you can apply it. Things that we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing loads and loads of lives, we're going to be doing so much stuff to actually really really help you through with this but what I want you to pick up on, what I want you to, to get from doing all these past papers and really, really going into depth looking at the mark scheme, looking at exactly what the examiners want you to write is that um, you know there is a formula to this, there is a pattern to this if the exam question says this, this is what sort of things the examiners are expecting you to write. Um, if you're struggling to pick that up from the mark scheme, then go and have a look at the walkthroughs of the video, um, the video walkthroughs, the predictive papers that we've done, because in that, um, we explain to you exactly that. If a mean calculation comes up in an exam paper, then 99.9% .9 of the time, what they're actually asking you to do is to find the enormous result, discard the enormous result, and then calculate the mean from that. But they don't lay that out for you explicitly in the question. They expect you to know this because you've done loads and loads of practice and loads and loads of revision. So in the run up to the exams, I'm going to say stuff and you're not going to like me saying stuff, but please just listen to me. I want you to be in bed by a sensible hour. Nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at the very latest. You need to be getting good sleep. I do not want um, people turning up to the exam having stayed up to two o'clock in the morning. Please go and get some good sleep. Please try and relax. 
the, the, the revision that you're doing at 11 o'clock the night before the exam is not good revision. It's not going to sink in. Um, you need stuff in your long-term memory, not in your short-term memory, um, for you to be able to properly get that information from your head onto the exam paper. And we still have time to get it into our long-term memory now with a week left to go before everything starts. I want you to start eating sensibly. I know, so like I'm talking about Weetabix, toast, banana for breakfast, slow burn carbohydrates so that um, you have enough energy to get through the exam paper. Um, it's a really, really bad idea to, you know, go and get that sharing bag of Skittles and eat all of it on your way into the exam because you'll be in a massive sugar high when you go into the exam and then halfway through the exam, you will come down on a massive, massive sugar crash. And that will really, really affect your concentration. That will really, really affect your energy levels. And that will subsequently really, really affect your um, how well you do in the exam. And um, please avoid negative people on the way into the exam. Now, this can be hard because, you know, this could be your best friend that you absolutely love. But they just turn into a real stress head on the way into exam. And now we kind of like there with the revision guy saying how they stayed up till four o'clock in the morning. Why didn't you do this? And have you read this a little bit? And do you know the equation for this? Um, there's nothing you can do about it on the way into exam. So just don't even try. Um, basically, I do not want to see people sitting there with revision guides sitting there on the way into the exam that is not helpful that is not productive that is not going to work for the week to go we can do this what you need to be doing is focusing on really really finessing the answers that you are learning um science is great for this maths is great for this because we can just go and look this is a stock answer a level biology this is the standard five points you need to write for this question so please just go use the mark scheme to learn them learn the sort of things that examiners are expecting to see Take care of yourself, get to bed early, eat um, properly so that we're not going to have massive sugar crashes. Um, and then go into the exam with positive mindset, avoid negative people who are just going to drag you down. Um, and really, really believe that you've prepared yourself well for this. We still have time, we still have time for the exam, so we do not need to be freaking out. Um, but yeah, with a week left before the exams, like, we can do this guys, we really can. Ouch! This is why in some videos I, I explain scratches.